Hi. I'm going to talk about self-prostate milking for pleasure and for health. The prostate gland plays a major role both in a man's reproductive capacity and his ability to enjoy sexual acts. Little wonder then that this organ has been called the male G-spot or the male uterus. Knowing the right way to stimulate it can bring intense orgasmic pleasure. And because some studies suggest that having orgasms regularly can prevent a host of prostate disorders, more and more men are finding it to their benefit to indulge in self-prostate milking. The prostate gland is responsible for producing semen, that milky liquid that carries spermatozoa coming from the testicles and out of the penis during orgasm, while masturbation and sexual intercourse do their part in relieving the prostate of its load of semen. There are times when a partner is unavailable or a man wants to try something other than regular masturbation for a change. Here is where self-prostate milking comes into play. How does one go about doing this, especially if it's the first time? One of the things a man should overcome is the unease that he may feel at having something penetrate him anally. Some men wonder whether they have latent homosexual feelings if they indulge in this kind of activity. But this isn't so, all men can engage in self-prostate milking whatever their sexual orientation. You should try to find the most comfortable position for you before starting. You can lie on your side or squat for easy access. The prostate swells when a man is sexually aroused, so it would be best if you are turned on before starting so that you find your prostate immediately. It's a walnut-sized bump located about 2 inches inside the rectum, behind the base of your penis. Some men recommend masturbating the penis simultaneously with self-prostate milking for a one-of-a-kind sexual experience. You could have prolonged and more intense orgasms this way, and with more than the usual amount of semen coming out, especially if you haven't had any sexual activity for a while. However, some men report that while they do not achieve orgasm when milking their prostate glands, the level of pleasure they feel is still very intense. The semen trickles out or flows into a pool even though there's no ejaculation, in terms of how that word is commonly understood. Instead, one feels a deep sense of pleasurable fulfillment, it has been compared to a very good bowel movement, only a hundred times more erotic. You should be aware that there are studies indicating that certain men who masturbate or have ejaculations regularly have lower incidences of prostate inflammation, prostate cancer, and prostate enlargement. Given this evidence, self-prostate milking seems to be a safe, convenient, and inexpensive way to make sure that one's libido and prostate health are in optimum condition. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information.